Happy Friday, everyone. It's uh, good to be here, and I hope that the week that you have been through has been powerful, has been strong, and you've been able to see Jesus work in your life. Uh, this morning, we continue our journey into desiring to reflect God in our lives. We're going to study the Word of God in Proverbs 31, verse 26. The Bible says she opened her mouth with wisdom, and in her tongue is the law of kindness. Whenever the mother can speak a word of commendation for the good conduct of her children, she should do so. She should encourage them by words of approval and looks of love. These will be a sunshine to the heart of a child and will lead to the cultivation of self-respect and pride of character. See, children have sensitive, loving natures. They are easily pleased and easily made unhappy. And by gentle discipline in loving words and acts, mothers may bind their children to their hearts. To manifest severity and to be exacting with children are great mistakes. Uniform firmness and unimpassioned control are necessary to the discipline of every family. Say what you want to say. Say what you mean to say calmly. Move with consideration and carry out what you say without devi deviation. See, it will pay to manifest affection in your association with your children. Don't repel them by lack of sympathy in, in their childish uh, joys, in the childish sports, the childish griefs that they may have. In fact, infant children are a mirror for their mother in which she may see reflected her own habits and deportment and may trace even the tones of her own voice. How careful then should her language be around them and how her behavior should be in the presence of these little learners who take her for the greatest example. If she wishes them to be gentle in manners and tractable, she must cultivate those traits in herself. When children love and repose confidence in their mother and become obedient to her, they have been taught the first lessons in becoming Christians. The mother plays the greatest role in reflecting God in her children. And so today, as a mother, as a, as a father, wherever that you are, I hope you also reflect God in your life so that your children can be 